Hi guys, welcome back to Paw Palace. I'm Izzy. I'm Gabby. Today we are going to be telling you guys about what you need for your hamster, like we did yesterday on Mice. Mouse Monday. Yeah. So, let's go. Okay, so this is kind of similar to a hamster cage, but you don't want the state bases to be this big. You want them to be about, a ha at most, a half an inch. The sp spaces between the bars, if you're using a bar cage, they can also use tanks and bin cages, and maybe we can do a, a thing on bin cages sometime. Yeah, we can probably, we'll probably do like a whole entire video on cages. Yeah. And things like that. So there, there actually aren't a lot of like good bar, there aren't that many great bar cages on the market that have a good price. I mean, not a good price, a good amount of space because mm -hmm. hamsters need a minimum of like 450 square inches and yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and this was our only example. This is actually a guinea pig cage, so that's why the spaces are so far apart. But that was our only example. Yeah. So we'll probably put in a picture. Um, we'll probably put in a picture of what an actual hamster cage should look like. Yeah. So the next thing that you're going to need, oh my gosh, is <laughs> a hut. Definitely does not have to be this big. Again, this is our one of our only examples that we have. Um. It's a guinea pig hut, but but um, you can use this um, if you really want to, but definitely try to do it smaller. And the reason that um, hamsters really like this is because it makes them feel happy mm -hmm. and safe when they're in their cage. Mm -hmm. um, and Gabby, do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, so it can be this size or smaller. I mean, it, yeah, it, yeah, as long as it's not like smaller than your hamster then and like the same time but I, I think you'll buy a pot that's bigger than your hamster or if you want to use something a little bit more natural um you can use a coconut shell hut it's just basically a coconut shell um shaped into like a little hut and just make sure it's big enough mm -hmm. one of the third things that you're going to need is a food dish for your hamster um this is the best option, just a small one that is pretty low to the ground. If you don't have this option, also a nice shallow one would work too. And if your only option is a big size, make sure to just bury it in the bedding so they can reach into their food. So um, so you could even have two bowls. Uh, yeah, so I'd say probably out of them, this one... Uh, this one and this one are the best because like the hamsters have a pretty big diet so this could fit like all the things and this also is pretty nice especially if you're like feeding them from a water bowl but we can do a video on like water bowls and bottles but so yeah so now I am going to talk about water bottles so water bottle you'll need a water bottle uh or water bowl I suppose but uh so a water bottle is good for them to come up and like drink, of course. Um, you can just get these at a local pet store, and they'll. And you gotta make sure to get at the right height though too. But yeah, that's basically. And when it comes to picking out water bottles, this little thing is where the water stops and comes out. So when you're at the pet store picking it out, make sure you hear that and not like it going all the way up into the water bottle because that means it's broken so um yeah and then when you get home if you can't tell if it's broken or not just put water in it and if it just starts leaking out all of the time then that means it's broken so you're just gonna have to go get a new one so another thing that you're going to need for your hamster is a sand bath um they need it to keep the oils um healthy in their fur um, so one of the options you can have, that the more cheaper option, is to get some just play sand from your sand section at the hardware store. Um, so make sure to heat it in the oven just to make sure that all of those bacteria and everything just is safe for your hamster. And then you're going to want to sift through it so there's no really heavy, hard rocks in there. Okay, another option is reptile sand. Uh, so you're just going to want to make sure that it has no dye or calcium. Uh, so, uh, so it's a good, uh, 
for it's slightly more expensive if I didn't already say than play sand but it's also a it's still really good if you don't want to have to work through getting like stuff out of it and getting yeah because the kids play sand has the most steps to it but really for the reptile sand you just have to make sure that there's no calcium or dyes in it so it's kind of the easier route but it's the more expensive route yeah so the last option is some chinchilla bath sand um you don't want to use dust chinchilla dust you want to use chinchilla bath or not chinchilla bath <laughs> chinchilla sand because um the dust is um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the reason you don't want to use dust is because it can cause respiratory problems. Something else you're going to need is bedding. And the, the best kind of bedding is paper bedding. Uh, and the best two brands are Carefresh and Katie Clean and Cozy. And also make sure not to use cedar wood or pine. You're going to need some toys. And a, one good toy that I recommend is like a salt lick, like a Himalayan salt chew. You can usually find these at pet stores, and I found this one at Petco, so that's really nice. And then another toy that you're definitely going to need is tunnels for your hamster because they really like to be underneath their bedding, and tunnels can be a good way for them to be able to like keep the bedding good, and you can just have this little tunnel system underneath all their bedding. Then you can get them little chews, and if you saw our mice video, like kind of chews very similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, there are many chews out there, and most of them are good, especially like the wooden ones, and yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also make sure that there aren't too many dyes in your chews. Um, like with my chews, there's a couple dyes, but obviously they're non-toxic. But try to get the chew that has the least amount of like dye and coloring in it. So the last thing you're going to need is food, and you're going to want to get them some pellets, uh, and you're also going to want to give them fruits and vegetables, like maybe some lettuce, some maybe apples, just, we can probably do a diet video sometime. Yeah. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure to join the kingdom by um, subscribing. And if you like a hamster videos... Um, for Hamster Tuesday, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, bye!